Infectious kidney infections, kidney malfunction, or even a malignant tumor may go unnoticed for a long time. A slight pain in the lower back can be blamed on various reasons, stretching at a workout, an uncomfortable position while sleeping, and the like. But if you listen to your body, you can see several hidden symptoms of kidney disease. Some of them doctors don't even remember. And in that case, they may be treating you for the wrong thing. Be vigilant to spot kidney damage in time. Watch the video all the way to the end to understand how cholesterol is connected to the kidneys and how your skin shouldn't smell. So here we go. Number 1. Hypertension Many doctors prescribe hypotensive drugs for persistent high blood pressure without a comprehensive examination. In such a case, they offer symptomatic treatment without digging into the causes of this high blood pressure. Accordingly, the real problem cannot be treated in this way, it will only be thoroughly disguised, and the patient will have to take medication for the rest of his life. And here is an interesting pattern. Taking many medications for a long time depresses the kidneys even more, which again leads to pressure spikes and increased medication dosage. A vicious circle. But the initial problem may be in the state of the kidneys. They retain fluid in the body. It circulates through the bloodstream. Blood volume increases, and as a result, the pressure on the vascular walls increases. The right treatment strategy then would be to have a kidney exam. Very often, after comprehensive kidney therapy, hypertension medications are simply no longer needed. Number 2. Reduced volume of urine in a day. The average adult produces between 1 and 2 liters of urine. A sharp decrease in the number or volume of urine may have physiological reasons such as increased sweating, high body temperature. But if less than half a liter of urine comes out in a day, there may be a reason for the malfunction of the kidneys. This may be a symptom of nephritis, embolism, glomerulonephritis, or systemic vasculitis. Number 3. Increased cholesterol levels. You're already on a strict diet without red meat and trans fats. You exercise, and you've tried a dozen vascular cleansing recipes, but your cholesterol keeps getting higher? Perhaps you need to get your kidneys checked. Your doctor is already prescribing statins to lower your cholesterol, and you just need to determine if your kidneys are causing your lipid metabolism. By the way, here again, it is the same situation as with blood pressure medications. Statins, among other disorders, can cause kidney problems. Again, a vicious circle. The danger is that it is a reciprocal relationship. Many patients with kidney disease are diagnosed with lipid metabolism disorders. But elevated cholesterol can also eventually lead to even more kidney dysfunction. Number 4. Lower back pain. If you rule out sudden factors such as overexertion or a draft, but the pain still persists, the cause may be a kidney infection, kidney stones or sand. And doctors often diagnose it as a spinal condition prescribing pain relieving ointments and exercise. So how can you yourself know that the pain in the lower back is due to the kidneys? If along with it you feel weakness, brokenness, nausea, exhausting headache and sleep disorders, it may indicate kidney disease. And the pain itself, classically nagging and pulling, can be very intense, for example, in urolithiasis. Number 5. Dry Skin this symptom can be called secondary because it does not directly point to the kidneys. But in the complex, it often manifests itself and, unfortunately, goes unnoticed. Kidneys are involved in the normalization of water-salt balance. They are responsible for the amount of minerals in the body and for the level of moisture. If the skin has become dry, started to itch, it may be a sign of functional disorders of the kidneys. Number 6. Frequent urination at night. The normal amount of fluid excreted during the day and at night is in the proportion of 3 to 1 or 4 to 1. The least urine is produced at night. From 3 to 6 am, therefore, frequent urges to the toilet at night may indicate a problem with the kidneys, although men are often inclined to consider it a sign of beginning prostatitis. Number 7. Kidney body odor. When sweat begins to smell like ammonia, 
It may indicate that the kidneys are not doing their job. If the body cannot excrete waste products through the urine, it begins to do so through the skin. Because of this, sweat changes its composition and smell. By the way, many elderly people have what is called senile smell. Although, in fact, this odor can either be greatly reduced or completely gone if the correct kidney treatment is administered. Number 8. Blood in the urine. This symptom is hard to miss. Unfortunately, it indicates a rather high degree of infection. Renal bacterial infections usually come through the urinary tract. It is women who get them more often and more quickly because they have a shorter urethra than men. Number 9. Darkening of the urine. At an early stage, a kidney infection can be recognized by an increased level of red blood cells in the urine. This can be seen externally by a change in the color of the urine. It becomes a rich yellow color, even slightly brown-brown. In addition, the number of blood cells, of course, can be determined by the laboratory. Erythrocytes in one milliliter of urine should not be more than a thousand. Otherwise, we can talk about poor kidney function. Urine is formed in the renal glomeruli, where it begins to be filtered by passing through the membrane membrane. If a lot of blood cells, protein, or white blood cells are excreted with the urine, it means that the kidney's main ability to filter is impaired. A doctor should be consulted. Number 10. Edema. Fluid retention in the body exactly because of the kidneys most often manifests itself symmetrically as edema on the upper half of the body. Less often it spreads to the legs. The most obvious sign of renal insufficiency are bags under the eyes. They arise because of sodium retention. Another option is hidden puffiness, which can be mistaken for overweight. Number 11. Deterioration of appetite. The body understands that it becomes more difficult for it to excrete decomposition products and moisture. Therefore, it reduces the feeling of hunger and thirst. It is not uncommon for patients with kidney disease to lose weight before their eyes. Number 12. Frequent urges to urinate. Urologists believe that an adult should go to the bathroom 4 to 10 times a day. If you notice that you go to the bathroom more often than usual without changing your lifestyle or water regime, you may have a urinary tract infection or kidney disease. If it is an infection, the tissues of the bladder become irritated and contract more often, which causes the patient to experience more frequent urges to urinate. Sometimes going to the toilet may be accompanied by a sharpness, itching of the perineum, and a feeling of an unempty bladder.